Hey everyone, it's Sevi. So I've been seeing many questions in the comments section asking about a certain aspect about Sara's kit, and sometimes I see comments that misunderstand her talents or constellations, which is perfectly fine because I know that Sara's kit is a bit more complicated than Genshin's early characters and there's more to wrap our heads around. This video is going to quickly answer 6 frequently asked questions about Kujo Sara's kit. This is to help clear up misconceptions and it's more convenient and definitive to answer those questions questions with the visual evidence to show alongside it. And if you know someone who has the same questions, just show them the relevant parts in this video. If you want to learn more about using or building Sara, feel free to check out my other videos after watching. I'll link them in the description. And with that, let's get started. Question 1. Does using her burst give an improved buff? This is the most common misconception I see, and the simple answer is no, it does not in any way whatsoever. If you read her burst talent, it says that the attack bonus given is the same as the elemental skill Tengu Storm Call. Some also seem to think that when you unlock her C6, which gives an additional 60% crit damage to electro damage dealt, it only applies when you use her burst. But reading the C6 description carefully, nothing here says that, right? To prove that, let's watch the next clips. For the first set, on the left is Sara using her skill to buff Raiden, on the right is Sara using her burst to buff Raiden. And here's Raiden's damage on her initial slash. So at first glance, you can see that when I buffed Raiden with the burst, the damage is higher. Does that mean I'm wrong? Well, it's because upon using Sara's burst, she's generated resolve stacks for Raiden. Zooming in, you can see Raiden having almost half of her max stacks. This means that Raiden's burst will deal more damage. It's Raiden here that makes the difference, not Sara. Maybe this is the source of confusion for some players. So let's test this with another Electro character. Our new volunteer is Fischl. Same setup as before. As you can see, both the non-crit and crit damage are similar. Case solved. So we can put this to rest. It doesn't matter if you use her burst or skill. It doesn't matter if she's C6 or not. They will give the exact same buff. Period. Question 2. Does Sara C6 snapshot? No, it doesn't. C6 does not snapshot because it doesn't inherently give the buffed character the crit damage increase in their stat page. Other characters will snapshot the attack buff, but not the additional crit damage. To keep this video shorter, you can just look at my more detailed C6 Kujo Sara video where I demonstrate the snapshot effect with Fischl and Beidou. It's linked in the description. Question 3. Exactly how much energy does the passive talent's decorum restore? Let's read this together. Passive talents decorum. When Tengu Jurai ambush hits opponents, Kujo Sara will restore 1.2 energy to all party members for every 100% energy recharge she has. This can be triggered once every 3 seconds. Initially, the for every 100% energy recharge sounds like the energy restoration only goes up every 100% increment, like 100, 200, 300, etc. Thankfully, this is not the case and is likely due to poor translation or wording. Sarah will restore more than 1.2 energy to all party members even before she reaches 200% ER. Let's take a look at Sarah's energy restoration through Zhongli. At 100% energy recharge, Sara will restore that tiny 1.2 energy to Zhongli's burst. You can barely see it because it's such a small amount, but it's there. If I repeatedly trigger this, you can see the energy icon filling up ever so slightly. Let's now check how much she gives teammates with a 190.6% ER. It's still such a small amount, but you can see it's a little more noticeable now since she gave more energy. So we can take this passive talent to indicate a computation ratio instead. For every 1% of ER, Sarah will restore 0.012 energy to her teammates. Do note that this passive will only proc if her Tengu Jurai ambush hits opponents. So if you place her crow feather but the ambush doesn't hit anyone, you won't get the energy. Question 4. Does her C2 crow feather give energy particles or only the charged shot? Again, C2 lets her generate a crow feather upon using the skill instead of generating one with a charged shot. However, only Sara's charged shot will generate energy particles. We can clearly see the difference in this footage.
Question 5. Does Sara need C2 to be playable? For mobile players where a charged shot with bow users aren't desirable, I can see why she isn't really playable. But even as a PC user, Sara on C0, in my opinion, is not well suited for quick swap teams. You'll get more mileage out of her if you use her to buff a single main DPS. To me, whether or not she's playable at C0 or C2 is still mostly personal preference. Question 6. Can Sara's crow feather buff multiple people in co-op? Yes, as seen in this co-op test I did, we confirmed that we both indeed got the buff. So those are the Kujo Sara clarifications I can provide for now. I tried answering the most common questions that were popping up, but if there's a question I didn't answer, feel free to leave a comment and I'll try to get back. If this video did help you out, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. It really, really helps me out too. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon. Take care!